The West Midlands Police and Crime Commissioner David Jameson says his office has been inundated with messages online in regard to concerns about public safety that he and leader of Birmingham City Councillor Ian Ward share about what he describes as the chaotic train services provided by West Midlands trains. I travel regularly and what I've noticed is serious overcrowding, very often due to cancellations or late trains. And I have spotted that people sometimes are at risk. And what people are saying, they feel unsafe, they feel crushed. Some women have said they're pregnant, they're standing up. One woman said she fainted. Others have said they've been stranded on stations late at night when the train's been cancelled and there's, there's men hanging around and uh, unsavoury people are, are around them. This is a big problem. And, you know, people feel threatened in travelling on our trains. This shouldn't be the case. What I do about it is firstly compile all the information, put it to the rail companies and say, what are you doing about this? To Network Rail, of course, they run the track and the, the signals. Then I'm going to call a hearing uh, in next month and I'm going to call the train companies forward so in public they can answer to the public about what they're delivering as a train service and tell the public how they're going to improve it. In response, West Midlands Trains released this statement. We value feedback from our customers, which is why we changed our timetable last month to address the problems our passengers have been experiencing. The early indications are these changes have had a positive impact, with 28% more trains now arriving on time than the week before the timetable changed. Since the turn of the year, we've also settled the trade dispute with the RMT and discounted season tickets as compensation for our recent performance. The arrival of more new carriages and additional timetable changes later this year will continue to improve our performance.